find you holding Vader's leash. I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found it signing the order to terminate your life. I'm surprised you had the courage to take the responsibility yourself. Princess Lear, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. Okay. Admittedly, I am very late to this party, but I've been waiting for this for a long time to come from Hong Kong. Um, I had no doubt I was going to get this. Uh, first of all, I don't have enough figures to populate all my dioramas, and secondly, when I first saw this, I was very impressed. The, uh, the sculpt and everything is uh, dead on to me. Uh, and I'm very curious to see whether, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, it's going to be much softer in the final production version in real life, and maybe whether or not I will have to do something about that, but we're going to find out together. Oh, and of course, you never have enough Darth Vaders, so I, uh, I also got me one of those taking off the front. As you can see, I'm not a professional review reviewer, so this is the double box of Grand Moff Tarkin and Darth Vader, MMS-434, uh, uh, with your standard Star Wars uh, design with the dark charcoal versus black um, layout. And then there's this picture inside with the excellent what is that? The, like a boardroom, meeting room on the Death Star they used in episode one, never to be seen again. Uh, on the back, it's the standard movie masterpiece, though uh, it's, uh, it comes with Disney logos now, the hologram type uh, uh, things for the past year or so. Um, so, let's see what's in the box. Okay, looking at the manual first. While I'm opening this, I notice the interrogation droid that came with my very first episode four Darth Vader from Hot Toys. So that looks very similar. Um, so, manual. Um, this also looks very similar to what I got with the um, the very first episode four Darth Vader. Notable exception here is the floor pattern on the stand that is different, um, and the glove gauntlet thing seems different from what I've seen before on Darth Vader's. This seems like very much the same design, including the panel unit. You know, so this is this is definitely for the for the box this is definitely the same as the very first Darth Vader. Based on this picture it looks like the space diaper um, cod piece that was on the Rogue One Darth Vader. Then for Grand Moff Tarkin I don't have a frame of reference but there's the chair there's the pens. This looks like the same design again with the arm. All right, so this is what's in the box. There's two layers. So with the bottom layer containing the chair, the, uh, the two uh, bases for the, the, the pedestals for the, for the figures, and from what looks like a very cheap uh, injection molded piece just like on the episode 4 Darth Vader for the interrogation droid. I'm going to show you the base but I won't be using them because I always put my fingers in my, uh, my figures in my diorama of course. Um, so this is the Darth Vader uh, base. Yeah, what can I say? It's uh, the Death Star floor pattern, uh, same as can be seen on my dioramas, so that's as accurate as I can tell. Then the 
Grand Moff Tarkin base, same thing. These are the crotch grabbers. Look very solid. I like something that is very slim and um, out of the way. Plus, I don't live in earthquake country, so I never use these. Never had a figure fall on me yet. Knock on wood. Yeah, this is the same thing that came with the episode four Darth Vader that um, plugs into the, yes, the very cheap injection molded five cent, no, maybe one cent piece that helps you float the interrogation droid. Kind of figured after there were a lot of complaints about that with the first Darth Vader, they wouldn't do that again, but uh, hey, they're hot toys, they can get away with it. So, the chair, what do we think? Uh, another injection molded piece, nicely molded, and I really think the paint job is uh, very nice, really makes it look metal, so that's good. Um, judging, yeah, this feels, this is actual metal, the rod that is molded to the chair. And is there a certain way to put it in? No, just with pressure. Right there. That's neat. What do we have here? A bunch of Darth Vader hands. Um, they did listen to the feedback uh, for that, the episode four Darth Vader uh, did have a pretty awful glove system with double-sided tape or Velcro and it just didn't look very good. The, the, the molding on these uh, lines are much better. So uh, I'm already liking that a lot more. If you've seen my videos, I've worked on a lot of episode four Darth Vader's, especially the first batch, which wasn't quite accurate at all. Um, this was a nightmare to get in, I remember that. So I'm very curious to see how that goes for this one. Uh, still the same design I see with the light up saber uh, molded to the arm. Some very cool gestures with the force choke. This hand probably really works when you want to pose him in the typical Vader pose uh, of Darth Vader grabbing his chest boxes, uh, the belt boxes. Here's another glove. The glove, you can have him hold the saber a hilt. Another one, I guess, doing the same. This is the bald fist I always like for Darth Vader. You don't know the power of the dark side. And the uh, pointy finger, the uh, pull my finger, which is a classic. Um, you can see him point the finger at Princess Leia in the Tantive uh, set on episode four, the Rebel Blockade Runner. I do a diorama for that too. So the hands are definitely an improvement over the one for the original Hot Toys episode four Darth Vader. Let's check out the rest. So interestingly enough, this looks like a second generation Darth Vader cast for the helmet and it doesn't have the clear damage that it, the first version had. There's also no sight of the space diaper that you saw on the Rogue One Vader. Um, this is so interesting that I'm going to get my episode 4 Vader and see how close they resemble each other. Alright, so before we start the comparison uh, a few notes. This is the original episode for Darth Vader, however, it has been modified by me to make it screen accurate. So, there's going to be a lot of differences based on that alone. A um, couple small things. This is the same mold. This is pretty much all the same. These parts are the same. So there's a lighter type wire in the robe here. The helmet um, it still has the same problem with the nose plug that is too far forward. Their eyes, um, don't have the correct shade and, um, uh, the armor is much too shiny. Uh, this is more the screen accurate look, but again, customized by me. So, not an accurate representation. Um, 
As you can see here, there's a wire coming out the back for this one that I use to uh, power the, the the boxes, the voice system, and the uh, the lightsaber. Um, also, I lightly polished the uh, shin guards here because they were much too flat and plasticky. Um, so, basic difference. The, the helmet is definitely an improvement over uh, what needed to be done to get the episode 4, the first run of the episode 4 Darth Vader's to look right. And this has the awkward separate hands with uh, the gauntlet attached. So this definitely looks better when it comes to the gloves. Also, a small thing to note, or so it seems, these four small, I mean this is a minute detail, but these rivets, um, they weren't there before. This rivet wasn't there before on the belt, which is screen accurate by the way. Not sure about those. I know they're not on the Jedi uh, Darth Vader. Maybe they are on the episode 4 Darth Vader, I'm not sure. Another thing to note is that the Initial episode 4 Darth Vader has gunmetal and then black on the shoulder guards where This one has the all black shoulder guards if you ask me right out of the box I would definitely uh, think this is a, a better Darth Vader. It improves some of the problems with the initial uh, Darth Vader though based on, based on what I've seen this one has the voice system where this one uh, no longer has that. Again, who needs it? So good riddance if that uh, brings the price down for the duo pack. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Um, so the helmet is much more accurate and um, with, a, with minor futzing this can be made to look right. So um, yeah, I, I'm definitely liking this uh, Darth Vader more than the initial Hot Toys Darth Vader. So moving on to his partner in crime. Uh, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good actually. Uh, initial impression, and I think I can't resist but do a little bit of detailing on the sculpt to get uh, get it, give it a little bit more of an aged look. Belt uh, closes with Velcro on the back. Tailoring on the suit looks good. So let's go into the hands for Tarkin. I really think this hand pose, you know, the way he puts it, very classic look. Which means the other hand you need with that is this one. It also looks nice. And then you have the pointing finger and the open hand, which probably works when you put it on his back, when he has the hand on his back. So plenty of choices there. This one is also an excellent hand for the, for the chair. As you can see, works very well on the armrest. Hmm. Okay, a couple of issues. If you look at the pose I'm trying to emulate, which is this pose, then I wonder what they did to get the cuff to cover the wrist joint the way they did in the picture, because that's definitely what I would like to see. Another thing to take note of, so I haven't been reading the boards or anything, so this is new to me, but this thumb is like added later and there's a very noticeable crease all around. Maybe this was necessary for the casting, but weird nonetheless. Yeah, I'll need to work on that a little bit more, but I think that looks pretty sweet. So, Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin make quite a pair. Let's go look at them inside my diorama. Really incredible guys. 
I love it. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, basically, I really like the set, uh, and that is because it is an incredible likeness for Governor Tarkin, and the Vader is pretty good as well. Uh, probably one of the best out-of-the-box Vaders we've had. Are there issues? Yes, most definitely. Um, Let's start with the price at $470 currently for the set with Sideshow. Um, it is, well, it's about par for the course, I'm afraid, but uh, it's not cheap. Um, it took me quite a bit of futzing to get it to look like this, um, especially the uniform on Tarkin. Um, the, the cuffs and the, uh, the sleeves are just a tad too short, I would say. Uh, just to cover up the joints enough and make it look realistic like this. Um, but it's very close to movie accurate. Uh, the fabric also does look a bit crinkly, as you can see. Um, so that's okay, uh, but not great. Uh, the Darth Vader... Um, I did a comparison uh, earlier in the video comparing to the original episode 4 Darth Vader. The helmet is better but still not 100% movie accurate with the uh, the nose plug where it is and the um, the eyes just really needing a little bit more red. The uh, shoulder armor really needs quite a bit of um, weathering to make it look movie accurate. Um, but it does address some of the issues on the original episode for Darth Vader. It does come with a light-up saber arm, but it doesn't come with the voice system, uh, which I can live without. But then again, maybe that would have been, uh, good to have $20 knocked off. Something like $450 for the set would have been better. Uh, the chair is nice. It's a nice, uh, touch. Uh, and overall, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10 uh, for the set because there are some issues, but um, it still is the very best we've seen so far when it comes to uh, what well, Tarkin is unique, of course, uh, but also Darth Vader. Um, again, if they... The price was a little lower, the uniform was a little bit better, and the Darth Vader was a little bit more weathered, a little bit more movie accurate. Those things would knock it uh, uh, up to uh, a 10 out of 10 for me. All right, so just after finishing up the review, I found out I forgot these things, which apparently are called code cylinders. Forgot to put them in. And as you can tell, uh, on my right, so his left, those look fine. They are seated properly. But, you can also see, the other ones don't want to sit properly, and I did some research, and apparently I'm not the only one. So, that's another half point off, giving this a 7.5 out of a possible 10 points.